It's a big day for the Sahle family. I'm gonna hug her so much. Speaking through an interpreter, little Maya says she can't wait to be reunited with her sister. It seems ridiculous and it seems like overkill, right? This 10 year old girl needs two waivers to be able to come to the U.S. to be with the rest of her family. Amir Naim is one of the immigration attorneys fighting 10 year old Rahad Saleh's case. She's been stuck in Egypt for the past five weeks alone, unable to immigrate with her family to the United States as they flee the civil war and famine raging in Yemen. Her father came to the United States four years ago to get a job and save up before his family arrives. The family traveled to Egypt to get their immigration visa, but Raghad's visa was delayed without much explanation. With the threat of losing their immigration, the mother made the difficult decision to leave her daughter behind. Um, obviously, Raghad was very, you know, uh, distraught. Um, you know, she was crying every day on the phone. Um, she, she, you know, was 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 scared and depressed. Right? I mean, she's this ten-year-old girl and doesn't know, um, you know, what's gonna, you know, what's gonna happen to her. After a political fight led by the Yemeni American Association of the Bay Area, Raghad's visa was approved. She arrived in New York last night, where she was greeted by her father. He'll bring her home to San Francisco. Uh, we're going to do a little celebration and also a body in for her birthday. Naim says this is a win for the family, but he also adds these types of delays seem to be politically motivated. Sure, you could say like, okay, they made a mistake. That's terrible. You know, we're glad it got sorted out, right? Um, but, you know, the administration has like a very clear pattern of, you know, in the most charitable interpretation, uh, disregarding, you know, children's need to be with their parents. Thank you so much. Raghad's flight arrives at SFO tonight in San Francisco. Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.